How long do you wait before you are seen by a doctor in some of the big private hospitals? Here is what we found out. The average waiting times of the big public referral institutions in this country has been, quite frankly, shocking. Some of the patients we sent to these big public referral hospitals had to wait up to 10 hours to receive medical care. Now that is the same time you spend at the office on the average working day. We wondered how these facilities would compare to the top private hospitals in the country where patient service charters are prepared and displayed. So we probed the biggest leading private hospitals in the country. We considered the size of the institution, the number of patients they serve per day, and the ranking of the institution countrywide. We sent patients to Nairobi Hospital, the Aga Khan University Hospital, MP Shah Hospital, and Mata Hospital in Nairobi. From the minute they walk into the various hospitals, the clock begins to run. At noon on the first day, we've sent Brian to Nairobi Hospital, Esther to Mata Hospital, Joseph to Mpisha, and Christine to the Aga Khan Hospital in Nairobi. We're filming the experiences of our four patients. They will each present the same set of symptoms to the doctors. We want to find out just how fast and efficient the outpatient service is at lunchtime. We start at Nairobi Hospital in Upper Hill, which has the shortest waiting time during this period. Brian is able to get his vitals checked and see the doctor in one hour, 32 minutes. It takes another one hour, two minutes to finish the consultation, get his medicines and be on his way. Meanwhile, at the Mata Hospital, Esther Wanjiro experiences near similar service. It takes one hour, 13 minutes for her to go through the triad stage and to see the doctor. It takes another one hour, 33 minutes to get a prescription and collect medicine from pharmacy. At MP Shah, Joseph Liboywa waits for one hour, 46 minutes before he can see the doctor. After another one hour, four minutes, Joseph is done. Nikangoja kwa muta. Hadi ilibidi niende ndani nikauliza nikakuta kwa kweli alikuwa matokeo meto ameipata lakini anashughulikia an, anashughulikia wengine tu. Yaani yule ambaye amekuja amena pesa saa hizo ndio anashughulikiwa. Kwa hivyo ilibidi nilie kidogo nikaenda kwa yule ambaye uh, alikuwa ameniambia ningoje ndio basi akaanza kunishughulikia ama akanishughulikia At the Aga Khan Christine waits 2 hours and 4 minutes before being seen by a doctor and another 1 hour and 11 minutes to get the medicine at the pharmacy so at midday, and without any lab work, it takes 2 hours, 34 minutes to be treated at Nairobi Hospital, 2 hours, 46 minutes at Mata Hospital, 2 hours, 54 minutes at the MP Shah, and 3 hours, 15 minutes at Aga Khan Hospital. We wonder how much longer this would take if we needed to get more tests done. We reached out to the Aga Khan management for a right of reply and they explained to us that they use the Canadian Emergency Triage Equity System to classify their patients. This criteria, and I quote, classifies disease by intensity as setters 1, as those requiring immediate care up until setters 5 as non-emergent and non-emergency. Set us one maximum time taken to starting to receive care is zero minutes, while set us five maximum taken time to starting to receive care is two hours. So on day two, we rotate our four patients between the same four hospitals. This time, they will present a different set of symptoms that will need them to go through further tests at the laboratory. And today, they will go in at 6 p.m. during rush hour. This time, MP Shah offers the quickest service. Christine is in the doctor's office 44 minutes after her arrival. It takes another one hour, 33 minutes at the laboratory to get her results and her medicine at the pharmacy. She's out of the hospital at 8.17 p.m. Meanwhile, Brian is at the Mata Hospital and it takes him one hour, 26 minutes before he can see the doctor. 
the consultation, lab work and wait at the pharmacy takes another 1 hour 37 minutes and he has finished by 9.04 p.m. At Aga Khan, Joseph waits only 50 minutes before he can see the doctor. But it takes another 2 hours 37 minutes for the consultation, lab work and pharmacy prescription to take place. He makes his way out of the Aga Khan at 9.27 p.m. Esther at Nairobi Hospital takes the longest time to see a doctor, 2 hours 15 minutes. But the consultation time, lab work and pharmacy stage takes 1 hour 30 minutes. She exits the hospital at 9.42 p.m. Thus, the total waiting time for our patients at these hospitals between 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. would be 2 hours 17 minutes for MP Shah, 3 hours 3 minutes for Mata, 3 hours 27 minutes for Aga Khan and 3 hours 45 minutes for Nairobi Hospital. Generally, visiting these hospitals at 6 p.m. is a bad idea if you want quick service. We shared our data with Nairobi Hospital and they responded with a statement that reads as follows. The aim of the department is that the turnaround time for an outpatient is three hours and for a patient being admitted, the time from the decision to admit to going to the ward is two hours. But challenges do arise, such as a large influx of patients, emergencies and financial clearance by the insurances and NHIF. It's day three, and we've been filming four patients at Nairobi's four biggest private hospitals to probe their outpatient waiting times. We've already monitored these hospitals at noon and at 6 p.m. Today, our patients will go into the hospitals at midnight. It's also the start of the weekend. Christine waits only 52 minutes to see a doctor at Mata Hospital at midnight. It takes another 1 hour 20 minutes to get lab results and medicine. She's out of hospital at 2.27 a.m. I stayed in that hospital for so long to a point that I was alone and there was no one else. I, that is the time where I, I even slept at some point and then I woke up, I asked the cameraman if they have called my name and he was like, no, I've been waiting, they haven't called you yet. So that is the point where I went to the reception and I told them that they haven't called me. So they told me, ah, just go and see the doctor, I think he is free. Meanwhile, across town at MP Shah, Esther has an interesting experience. She takes only 13 minutes before she gets to access the doctor. That is the shortest waiting time experienced during this entire project. It's important to note, however, that she is the only patient at casualty tonight. She has to wait another two hours for lab work and prescription. She leaves at 2.33 a.m. At Nairobi Hospital, Joseph had to wait two hours 44 minutes to see the doctor. The doctor did not prescribe any tests but somehow believed that our patient had malaria and immediately wrote a prescription. The patient passes by the pharmacy and leaves soon after. At Aga Khan Hospital, Brian waits one hour, 27 minutes before he can access the doctor. To triage, I am alone on the seats, just one person besides me. I'm just relaxed. No one is handling me. I'm like, what, what is happening? By the time the doctor has assessed him, sent him to the lab, got the results and prescribed some medicine, another one hour, 40 minutes have elapsed. He leaves the hospital at 20 minutes past 3 a.m. And then when did ask, they gave a, a, an excuse uh, that um, there, there was an emergency they were handling. Now this emergency, we, don't, we, we cannot tell if it was there or it was not there. But the moment he complained, the, it happened that the emergency ended and that's how I was now caught by the doctor. Thus, the total waiting time for anyone visiting any of these hospitals between 12 midnight and 1 a.m. would be 2 hours 12 minutes for Mata, 2 hours 13 minutes for MP Shah, 3 hours and 2 minutes for Nairobi, and 3 hours and 7 minutes for Aga Khan. We reached out to MP Shah Hospital Management and requested for an interview to share our findings and get their response. But they did not get back to us even after more than a month had elapsed. We have tested the outpatient waiting times of Nairobi Hospital, Mata Hospital, Aga Khan and MP Shah at three different times, at noon, 6 p.m. and at midnight. Today we are going into these hospitals at 8 a.m. How fast will our patients see a doctor first thing in the morning? 
Christine is in Nairobi Hospital where she is seen by the doctor and released within one hour, one minute. It takes 41 minutes to see the doctor and an extra 20 to finish the consultation and pass by the pharmacy on the way out. The situation is the same at MP Shah where Brian waits 51 minutes to see the doctor and 21 minutes later he has been released by 9.22 a.m. Aga Khan is a longer wait for Esther who gains access to the doctor after one hour and has to wait an extra 40 minutes to finish the consultation and pass by the pharmacy as she exits. She is finished by 10.15 a.m. Mata is a surprise facility on this Monday morning as Joseph enters the hospital at 8.04 a.m. but only sees the doctor at 9.30 a.m., one hour, 26 minutes later. Thereafter, full consultation and the pharmacy stage takes another 45 minutes. Thus, the total waiting time for anyone visiting any of these hospitals between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. would be one hour, one minute for Nairobi Hospital, one hour, seven minutes for MP Shah, one hour 40 minutes for the Aga Khan and two hours 10 minutes for Mata Hospital. We reached out to Mata Hospital who shared their data on average hospital waiting times. They claim that on average it takes 30 minutes to one hour to see a doctor at their premises. They also admit that during peak hours such as between 10.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. waiting times may increase. Private hospitals are set up for profit. Profit is income versus expenditure. The majority of expenditure is staffing. So if you can reduce on staffing expenditures, then uh, the owner, who is a businessman, will always do away with uh, expenditure. One way they do it is by understaffing. Another way is by what is called task shifting. Task shifting is where you are putting a less qualified person to do what a more qualified person should be doing without telling the public. To me, it's, 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 it boils down to a, a, almost like um, a disrespect of some form and indignity because you're assuming that these people, sometimes they wait and they're not told what they're waiting for. So at the end of the day, I feel there's need for, for dialogue between the users the supply side, the demand side, the users and the givers of the, the services, such that in case there's any issue, instead of keeping people in the dark and they start getting agitated and they start complaining and they actually make other people not use the service, what not think about giving information, being able to respond to their needs, and that way maybe there can be a dialogue on what exactly needs to be done to change the way things are being done. So how does one keep private hospitals accountable? The benchmark is always the government. If you have a government uh, a public system that is functional, the private will follow. You do not need to call out any private uh, uh, hospital about A, B, C, D. You find in most of the health facilities, especially the public institutions, there's a charter that stipulates, for example, your waiting time, how long is it going, to, are you going to take, for example, to be examined, to be triaged, to be taken, when you go to the lab, how long is, uh, are you going to take to get your specimen? In four days, we've been able to audit outpatient waiting bays at four top private hospitals in Nairobi. On four different visits at each of these facilities, our experiment has shown that overall, when comparing the Aga Khan Hospital, Nairobi Hospital, MP Shah and Mata Hospital, MP Shah had the shortest outpatient waiting time on average of two hours and eight minutes, while Nairobi Hospital came in second with a two hour 31 minute waiting time. Mata was third with a two hour 32 minute average waiting time, whilst Aga Khan emerged fourth with an average waiting time of two hours and 51 minutes. So what are the average hospital waiting times globally? Well. Although waiting times are poorly documented in most countries, patients in Malaysia wait for more than two hours from registration to getting the prescription slip, whilst contact time with medical personnel is only an average of 15 minutes. The United Kingdom's National Health Service has a target that requires all emergency departments to admit or discharge a patient within four hours. But the target has not been met since 2015, as British Medical Association data shows that 15% of all attendees waited more than four hours, 
and almost 6,000 people waited more than 12 hours at emergency departments in the United Kingdom in 2017. An exit survey on Kenyan patients in 2012 by the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation revealed that a majority of patients reported having spent more than two hours waiting for care at national and provincial hospitals. Now it was difficult to get any official policy by Kenya's Ministry of Health on waiting times for public hospitals across the country. And what that means for thousands of patients who are looking for medical treatment today is that their waiting time is dependent on the individual policies of the institutions they visit. What has been your experience? How long have you had to wait for medical care at a public or private facility in this country? Join the conversation, waiting on health, and our SMS line is 22422. My name is Wahiga Mwaura. My name is Asha Mwilu, and this has been a Citizen Television Special Report.